Hello, my name is Rich Nolan from Nolan Engineering, located in upstate New York, and today we're going to introduce you to the basement wall straps. So what you get when you order the kit, you'll get obviously the strap that'll be coiled up. Be careful when you open it, please wear safety glasses and gloves. You'll get a, a drill bit. And you'll get all the, the bolting anchors for the wall. Uh, thank you, Brian. And along with the, the anchor that goes into the top rim board. So one kit is one strap. So how do you know how many straps you need? Um, you could call us always for help. Um, we do have a, um, a spacing table. And how this works is first measure your wall height. Is it seven feet? Is it eight feet? Um, these don't have half feets right now if it's seven and a half, so just jump to the higher one. So if your wall is seven and a half feet tall, jump to the eight foot wall. Next thing you want to know is how high is the dirt, it's called backfill, on the outside of your house. So if this wall is eight feet and the dirt on the outside is six foot high, so you'll go to an eight foot wall, six foot high backfill. Then there's three separate columns. And this depends on your soil type. This is probably the hardest to figure out. Um, the first column is if you have like perfect beach sand. The middle one is kind of normal dirt, kind of silty, loamy, normal dirt. The last column, if you have terrible clay, this would be just like modeling clay, very heavy, very heavy soil, soils that don't drain. If you don't know and you don't think you have clay, you're, you're fairly safe using the middle column, that's for most soils. If you do have terrible, heavy soil clay, then, then use the last one. But most fall within the middle um, column. So for eight foot wall, six foot high dirt on the outside, and normal soil, it's telling me that I have to space these straps at 24 inches on center. Um, so every 24 inches I'd have a strap. Now you would, if this is a corner here, you, you would start your first strap 24 inches off of that inside corner. Um, if you have a window, we recommend a strap on either side of the window. Um, so that may um, adjust your, your spacing a, a little bit. You could also put a half strap on, underneath the window as well. Um, if this isn't clear, you can always call us um, for advice. Um, also, I forgot to mention, you do get instructions in in the kit as well so you know, if you don't remember any of this it's it all written down in words so just so you know this wall is not real concrete if this is a, a foam a foam wall and if you have a foundation wall that's pushing in like that there are a few things that you could do to stop that from happening if it's pushed in too much unfortunately you have to replace the wall but typically and it varies out there but if it's pushed in an inch and a half or less, you could repair the wall instead of replacing the wall. So here's a, a full length strap that you would get. Typically this is gonna be longer than what you actually need. So the first thing you do is you wanna secure it to the top block. Now this is an eight inch top block, so I'm gonna use the fourth hole. And what that's gonna do is allow me enough strapping material to bend this over and screw it to the rim board. If you had a four inch top block, you would use the third hole from the top. So I'm gonna have Brian come and secure this to the center of the block. Now again, this is a, a foam wall, so we're not using right now the actual screws, but we'll show you that in a moment. So the first thing you wanna do is secure to the center of your top block. Now, there's a hollow cell here, and there's a hollow cell here you want to screw into the hollow part of the block. It's just easier. So you would either do it here at this third point location or here at this two third point location. Once you get your top strap secured, you want to level the strap along the wall and put some tension on it with your foot. And this works best with having a helper that could stand here and put tension on it. And then you'll screw down, starting from the top and working your way down to the bottom while keeping tension on the strap. And wear your safety glasses. Okay. 
Now I should also mention that right now, because this is foam, we are not pre-drilling, but you would actually pre-drill this with a 3 8 inch masonry bit, which we'll show you in a moment. Now, as I mentioned earlier, earlier, excuse me, these get one screw per block, but when the wall gets to a certain height, because of the tension that's developed in the strap, it will start requiring two screws. So this wall would need two screws and the bottom block. Once the strap's installed, you would just cut off the excess at the bottom. The final step is to bend this strap over and secure it to the rib board. And then you would cut the excess off at the top. Now if your wall's not tipping in at the top, it's not absolutely necessary to do that step. You could cut the strap off here. But for extra added protection, you would just screw it to the rim board. So now we're going to show you how the strap is actually attached to a concrete block wall. Obviously we just have a small section here. So when the strap is aligned down the wall, you're going to take a hammer drill with a 3 8 inch masonry drill bit, which we do provide one. Um, depending on your strap order, um, they do wear out after you know, several straps, so you may have to hurt yourself another one. The straps do come with all the bolts, we should mention as well, the bolts for the top rim board and for, for all the, the walls. So I'll have Brian demonstrate uh, how that drills. So it only takes a few seconds to drill through. If this were an actual wall, it would even drill quicker because you just push against the wall. Then you want to switch over your, your bit uh, to another hammer uh, driven system and to install the actual anchor bolt. And that's how quickly this goes on. Do not over tighten the bolt, it just needs to be snugged up. There's nothing trying to pull the bolt out of the block, it's simply in, in shear. That's how quickly that goes together. It's mechanically fastened, so you did not have to cl clean this block. If there's paint or debris or whatever on this, you could just leave it there. And um, now these blocks are locked together. So as that earth tries to push and spread this apart, there's no way that this is going to open up.